guardian painting reflections are many. My guardian's name is Neo Ha. Neo as in new, Ha as in breath. I have been a guardian of the healing arts, the transformational healing arts for quite a while. And the expression of them, of my guardian painting, is about sacred patterns. Sacred patterns that get to be expressed in the 3D, the mundane, the earth realm of us spiritual beings. Often, when we have owies or hurts or disconnects or wobbles, our culture has had a tendency to psychologicalize and make things wrong. Whereas in the holistic healing arts, what is attempting to happen is to relearn something that may have been an incomplete learning or a learning that was misunderstood, misrepresented by our guardians when we were children. When we began painting the guardian, there was a step early on in the process that we were instructed to paint without lifting the paintbrush. And what had appeared, these two figures, the primary figure is the current now guardian, the embodied being the being, the human being that is spiritualized their energy into the material realm. And the smaller figure off to their left is an imprint, is a ancestor imprint, someone or some part of a past incarnate of the soul of the guardian. And that imprint represents patterns, teachings, knowings that still want to be expounded upon. As I painted my guardian painting, as it painted through me, I should say, I also painted my constellation of being painting. And they have been hand in hand in this journey, thank goodness. Before I move into the constellation of being, I want to just say that the secondary figure is a sacred pattern that wants to come alive in the interruption, but without disrupting the whole of the being. Why I'm saying it this way is that often when people 
are going through transformations or seeking transformation. Our culture has thought of it as to dispose of. But just as in nature, things grow naturally and they become our strengths. We learn from the interruption. We learn from our ancestors that could possibly be us in a different incarnation. And it's not necessarily a past incarnation, but it could also be a future incarnation. About my constellation of being, soon after it flowed through me, I took down my main manifestation altars, one of which was the Nitrin Daishonin Gahunzen that Nitrin expounded about 800 years ago. And I realized during a meditation that my constellation of being was my own, was my own expounding of my universe. What is my constellation? And in that painting, there's also a, like a demolition in the lower parts of that. And the constellation is rising through. It's been a real joy and pleasure to be in Origins. I have, oh goodness, I, I think the biggest thing that I have understood about myself and life is to keep observing without judgment. My hands-on and my work called Embodied Spirit Work, I've done an amazing job with my clients, students, in classes and business and community. Origins and painting the guardian as well as the constellation of being has afforded me being witness to myself first off in a very non-judgmental way when we get to and are privileged to witness our own selves in a neutral, uncolonized way, things begin to change. And what changes is our perceptions of these different perspectives. I'm so grateful to Shyla Sophia, Jonathan McLeod, and all the community of Musea, local and beyond. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Many blessings.